Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I created this pinky smoky eye. So if you'd like to see how I've done it, then please just keep on watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelids and I'm going to start with the face today. I'm going to go in with the Collection Primed and Ready Primer and I'm just got, obviously going to put this all over my face. I broke my nail. Um, but this primer is just a really nice primer it just makes your skin feel nice and hydrated and gives a little bit of a glow to the skin for foundation i'm going to use the revolution pro full coverage camouflage camouflage concealer in the shade f2 and i'm just going to apply this to my face i never know how much of this to use because it's like so thick and because it's in like a squeezy tube I just never know how much to put on my face. I think I'm going to blend this out with a brush. I'm just going in with a little bit more just to get some more coverage and I've got a spot on my cheek and it's not really covering that like it's just sitting weird over the top of it so hopefully with another layer it will look better um, and I did just wash my hair that's why it's looking so much of a riot and I've got like three tiny curls next to my face like it's just not sitting over the top of it nicely at all I'll try going in with a sponge, see if that will help it. I'm just going in with a sponge and just dabbing all over my face just to like soak up any of the excess foundation just because that foundation is like really thick so just to make sure that I do just to make sure that it is all blended out properly. For concealer I'm going to go in with the collection Last Imperfection. Um, I've got it in the shade Extra Fair and I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. My cupid's bow, chin and down my nose as well. Just going back in with my sponge I'm just going to blend that concealer out and normally I use my finger to blend out my nose and underneath my eyes but it is like 10 to 11, 10 to 11, 10 to 12 and I really just want to go to bed but I need to record for you guys. I'm going to like cream contour well bronze. I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C13 and <clears throat> this is very dark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to like swipe it off onto the back of my hand and then put like one dot on each side and then like a slightly bigger one on my forehead. I've just found that because of how dark this is it just makes it easier to blend out and it looks slightly more natural that way rather than like putting on so much more because I've done that before and then ended up not being able to blend it out that great so I'm just blending it out quickly with my finger and then I'm going to go in with like a really dense um, flat brush this one is from Revolution as well and I'm just going to go in with this and just blend it out and I'm going to make sure that I blend it up the way so that it is like creating that like shadow and it blends out so much easier like this as well. To set that in place I'm going to use the Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Lace or however you want to say it. I hate the packaging in this because the lid is like so small so I'm just putting some of it onto like the palm of my hand and then I'm going to use like dip my brush into it that way and then set my face. I did put like 
far too much of that on my hand, so looks like I'll be wiping that on my trousers. But I'm just going to quickly set my face. Look at how much of that powder I've still got left. Well, not anymore because it's all over the chair. To contour breath, I'm going to use the W7 Shape Your Face Contour Kit. I use uh, um, found this by Love's doing like my testing W7 makeup. I'm going to go in with that one, and it's just the perfect shade to contour with if you are like my skin tone because it is just like really cool toned but obviously not cool toned that it looks grey like I'm not explaining this best it's just a really good cool toned contour shade to bronze I'm going to use the L'Oreal um, back to bronze bronzer this is just what it looks like and I'm going to use this just to warm up my cheeks not that I really need it because I did use that concealer but It'll just give us a little bit more warmth. To highlight, I'm going to use the e.l.f. highlight. This is the Moonlight Pearls one. And I've not actually used this in a while, so I'm just going to quickly highlight. It's actually quite a nice highlight. It's just a little bit more subtle than what I normally go for, but it is still definitely there. To set all of that in place, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold setting spray and I'm just going to shake it and then spray it all over my face. And then I'm just going to go in and dab all of that setting spray onto the skin. It just helps press all the powders in so that it doesn't look like powdery or anything. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the mini... Um, chocolate orange palette from I Heart Revolution and I'm going to start off by taking a mixture of these two shades and I'm going to put these through my crease and on the outer and inner corner. I'm just building this shade up a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to put this right in the crease area and then on the inner and outer corners again. I'm just going to run that shade along my lower lash line as well. Just going back in with that concealer and I'm just going to the spotlight eye area. I'm going to back in with that shade and I'm going to use this just to blend out the edge of that concealer. I'm going to pack that shimmery shade over the top of that um, concealer just to like obviously set it. Then I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm going to put this right in the outer corners and on the inner corners just to deepen it up. A little bit. I have no idea what makeup look I'm actually doing. I'm literally just flinging some makeup on my face. Just with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to bring it along my lower lash line. I'm just going back in with the highlight and I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone. You can't really see it that much because it is quite subtle but it still just gives you a nice little glow 
and the areas. For mascara, I'm going to use the Barry M Featured Length Mascara and it's got such a tiny wand on it. So it's like really good for getting your lower lashes. It's not so great for like your top eyelashes because of how like small it is. Like I just feel like it doesn't do a lot for my top eyelashes but I am going in with some falsies in a minute so I'm not really bothered about that. So I just went in with a couple of coats of that mascara and it is looking actually okay. So I'm just going to leave it like with my natural eyelashes. Lastly for the lips I'm going to go in with the Lottie London Slate All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Girl PWR which I thought was Girl Power but it's not because they do have one called Girl Power. So I like the smell of these, they smell, they smell really nice so I'm just going to go in with and apply this. So that is the liquid lipstick all applied and I actually quite like the way that this um, makeup look has turned out. I have still got no idea what I'm going to call this but I'll think of something. So that is it for this video and I hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!